INEC has warned political parties against non-transparent primaries. And protests and gunshots have rocked the River State APC sectariat during a screening ahead of the party primaries. This is Plus Politics, and I'm Kofi Bartel. All right, you're welcome, and once again, you're watching Plus Politics and Plus TV Africa. Let's go over to River State, where it was all action at the State Party Secretariat on Woji Road in the GRE axis of uh, State um, Capital, Port Hackett. Gunshots were heard in the air amid protests uh, in the morning uh, that rocked the All Progressives Congress Secretariat uh, during the screening. Um, for the state party's House of Assembly candidates. We had hundreds of APC members loyal to a former federal lawmaker, a former senator, Magnus Abe, thronged the premises, uh, alleging hijack of state party uh, assembly, state assembly aspirants screening and ward and state delegate selection. Now we have joining us to discuss this, a deputy spokesperson of the APC in River State, Darlington Wuju, and Bethel Nte who is one of the delegate hopefuls in the Progressives Congress from uh, the Magnus Abbey side of the party. Uh, let's start with you, Darlington. Good evening to you. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Um, we've seen the videos and pictures of um, pandemonium, if you want to call it that, at the River State All Progressives Congress Secretariat on Woji Road in the upscale GRA area of Port Hackett. What happened today? Well, mostly I listen carefully to your intro. And I want to say that uh, as soon as I were, just yesterday, the National Secretary of the Party did inaugurate uh, the state screening uh, committee for the House Assembly uh, election and also the World and uh, Local Government Congress uh, Committee. So that, uh, that committee is actually a well-proposed uh, committee. The members of that committee came in full time yesterday. And uh, immediately moved up their sleep to start their work. They did the tutorial of advertisements on a radio station calling for a stakeholders meeting for 9 a.m. this morning. 9 a.m. this morning. And before 9 a.m. this morning, from our investigation, as at this a.m., some misguided use in the name of a uh, person supporting uh, Senator Magnus Abbe had invaded the party uh, secretary. Meanwhile, Kofi, if you would recall, the last time I granted an interview to this station, it was before the National Convention of the Party. And on the other side, we had uh, Mr. Tony Okocha. Recall the fact that Tony Okocha did allege that Chief Omega the K is not the authentic or legal party chairman of ACT in River State. And I raised serious arguments and serious questions as to his allegation and the interpretation of whatever he thought the court has said previously. And he raised issues that there was a court, a, 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 a certain court a, 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 a matter over the legality or, or the wise of the tenureship all the existence of uh, Chief Omega Seke. I say this because it is fundamental to this very argument this evening. The fact that the same Chief Omega Seke led ESCO, the same party secretary manned by Chief Omega Seke, was today invaded by persons who were sponsored by Senator Magnus Abe, coordinated by Tony Okocha, and so I began to ask myself questions. If indeed Tony Okocha and Senator Magnus that they believe that 
Chief Emeka Deke is not the authentic chairman of the party. Why invade the party premises, making unnecessary and irrelevant demands on the party? Now, the, 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 the screening and the uh, World and Local Government uh, Congress Committee has placed an advert calling for a stakeholders meeting for 9 o'clock. You have not waited to listen to that uh, uh, committee, what they have to say. And the guideline they have to roll out for, the, for today's congresses and the screening exercise. You went ahead sponsoring people to invade the party premises. Now, what was the, what was the intention of invading the party premises? And how would you now, you know, uh, 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 de define or describe or substantiate your previous allegations, having claimed that Emeka Beke was not chairman of this party, why now come in to, you know, uh, 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 invade the party premises? If he is not the party chairman, what does uh, uh, a man who you claim is illegal or occupying an office illegally, what has he do, got to do with enforcing any, any, any act of legality? So I raise questions as far the morality of those, both those sponsoring the protest and those protesting, because their argument for the past four or five years has been that there is a faction in APC in River State. And I may ask, what is wrong with them holding their own factional congresses, holding their own factional screening exercise, and submitting it to Abuja? Because they bought their funds from Abuja and refused to submit their funds to Puerto Rico. So what stopped them from going to Abuja for their screening exercise? What right, is that, that, that the uh, please, the please permit me to bring in... These are fundamental yeah. questions you should raise to whoever is speaking. All right, da Darlington, Darlington would you thank you very much. Uh, I would like to bring in at this point uh, uh, Bethel Nte, who is uh, a delicate hopeful uh, for the All Progressives Congress or from the All Progressives Congress in River State. Uh, Bethel, are you there? Hello, Bethel Inte, can you hear me, please? All right, uh, we'll, we'll try our very best to say, I apologize for that. We'll try our very best to get Bethel Inte back uh, with us on the line. But Darlington, um, uh, you, you're going back to an interview we had some time ago when we had a I'm member. Really... I can hear you loud and clear. When we had a member of your party Oh, Bethel, are you there? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll get back to Bethel as, as soon as we can, uh, so that he can he can give us his own his own take. Uh, but Darlington, are you there, please? Yes, go to Darlington. All right, so so you're going back to a time in your party uh, when, of course, you had factions. Um, we know about the Magnus Abbey faction. And you are trying to say that if they believe or they are saying Emeka Beke is not the authentic, bona fide uh, chairman of your party, what were they doing at the, uh, the, the party secretariat? But do you know who those aggrieved or protesting aspirants are? Are all of them supporters of Magnus Abbey? Have you spoken to them one by one? Do you have their names to know who they support? From their chance, if you have, uh, I just had a reporter on ground. If you've seen the video, if you monitor the video and listen closely and carefully, you would have heard them chanting, uh, No Magnus, no APC. And I wonder if uh, all this while the activities of uh, Senator Magnus that they has clearly demonstrated the fact that. He is technically no longer a member of the All Progressive Congress Party in River State. Considering the fact that he has not even invalidated his membership of the party. And so I wonder why the confusion and the unnecessary uh, uh, force being built around uh, Senator Magnus that is uh, uh, gubernatorial ambi ambition. Because you cannot put something on nothing. The fact that he has no home base, as far as we are concerned in the Congress Party in Liberty. The senator 
with all due respect, has no home base. Because if you belong, if you claim that you belong to a political party, then you must subscribe to all its rules, rudiments, and the regulations there. So for him to be running parallel to what the party is doing in River State, he shows clearly that he is anti the development of APC in River State. And we cannot take him seriously. Back to Bethel, are you there, please? Can you hear us? I can hear you clear now. Good Fa evening. Fantastic. Okay. So you've listened to Darlington, would you? He said, um, uh, you know, that he's questioning the, the, the purpose of those who came to protest at the APC sector this morning, uh, bearing in mind the fact that those who are loyal to Magnus Abbey in the APC in River State had refused to recognize the leadership of the Mecca Beke-led um, uh, State Working Committee. Yes, I'll say that, but that is not the issue. The issue is that right from 2018, we have had this uh, recurring uh, testimony that every time members make effort to participate in election of party position that this time have done all with these powers to ensure that those of us who have some special in the they don't have the, the space to face with so people. And who are actually yesterday the committee was in and the clutter observation the part of the committee is and they cannot be and we found out that they are all taken away by all efforts to them prove abortive. Now, the, we got a rumor that seems to have a test of that in case by a man. We have an attack, very, very fine uh, information. They are on asking their own people to implement across their world as early as 6 a.m. this morning. It becomes confusing. In one hand, they are saying that we have to take over that meeting by a man. We are asking your people to line up for photographs as you say. So we make our way to the party ticket. The students are directing line of the that we see. I was there almost to 11 this morning. As I was, as I'm talking to you, the members of the community are to be found. Gates were put against us. <clears throat> so hundreds of policemen from who longs that brought to the party to ensure that we don't have access. I brought her to contest as a delegate for the forthcoming governorship election as a state delegate. There are other hundreds of persons who brought from either for state delegates or uh, world delegates, AGA delegates. So, and our people too, who brought from to contest as a delegate, all of us came, you know, just let the world know that the issue of APC that started 2018 that is also again, all because of vote and And we are treated with gunshots, chargers, you know, broken uh, two glasses against members. We have, as I'm talking to you, have more than that in the state of undergoing serious treatment. So there is nothing that has to do with us not of being a maker of the case. A maker of the case is not the chairman of the uh, um, screening committee stroke uh, delegate election. And if we do not recognize a maker of the case, so the party said, to me, the committee, the committee, you are not what to be found. The committee are only known and only seen and only found by those who are with an age. So how can you have a, an honest context where somebody has been given a large advantage over you? It doesn't work that way. 
all materials not for this exercise have been denied us. We couldn't have a place to be formed. The results should be taken away. What are we contesting for? It's like a result already written before the context. So these are the issues we are saying. And Nigeria are all aware of this matter. It's not today matter. Okay. Somebody who thinks they but not yet yeah, like a demo, not allowed the people to follow the norms. The norms on the market are a converse for support, and people will not decide whether to support you or to support somebody else. Okay, all right. But then, in the case of APC, yeah. Amish will never allow democracy to reign. He will always want to sit down in his parlor and draw a list and find his way and put pressure on the party hierarchy in Abuja to adopt him. Yes. Let's bring in um, we, Darlington at this point. Pressure on 20 can you pause for a second? Bethel, sorry. Uh, let, let's bring in Darlington at this point because, Bethel, you've raised some important points. Now, you are an aspiring delegate of the party and uh, you intend to be a part of the process. And you are saying that you were denied any form or any opportunity to be part of the process. I know that uh, people who are also intending to be a part of the, the process to become candidates for the House of Assembly election were part of the protest. For instance, I spoke this evening to Noble George Ford, who is a, a, a State House of Assembly aspirant for the Omuma State constituency. You're saying that they were denied um, uh, uh, nomination forms. I come to you, Darlington Wuju. What do you say to this allegation that those who came out to protest today uh, were denied allegation, uh, nomination forms and um, had no other way to vent their, uh, their feelings? Darlington. Go, uh, go I was I was almost losing my patience listening to the pedestrian line of uh, the young man uh, that uh, I was almost losing my patience listening to him. I am disappointed in the fact that uh, the youth of this generation have uh, decided to give themselves to uh, fabrications and lies uh, is it, 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 tragic for our nation to have this kind of persons who want to lead the next generation. Now, let me say this clearly. Kofi, we can hold on for the next five minutes for the producer of this program to place a call on your colleagues in Port Harcourt. Can we hold on for five minutes so that the producer will get journalists who are in Port Harcourt to confirm to you if indeed, because I listened to him saying that there were hundreds of policemen. When I go to the party secretariat this morning, I was dropped by my loving wife and I only met Three regular policemen at the gate. That we is are on the the avalanche. Hold on, coffee. Because we cannot we cannot trade on lies. We cannot be living on lies, coffee. I am no longer interested in this. We will continue with this interview. If what I'm hearing is only lies, please, coffee. Oh. And I am saying yeah. that the young man who is claiming that the screening committee was nowhere to be found, can we please confirm from journalists if they interacted with the screening committee today? Please, at the party secretary, can, can you confirm if the, the stakeholders meeting held today at the party office? Can you also confirm if the screening of candidates held today? Please, if you confirm that, we cannot continue with this, the, with this interview. Okay. Or else, I'm tired of uh, listening uh, uh, to Darlington, that. Please. Darlington, 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 I think you... Please, you, you, please, you, please, Darlington, for my you, uh, Darlington you, you, you're doing, you're, you're performing your responsibility, you know, to speak on behalf of the party, you know, after... Uh, the, the, your, your principal. But um, uh, Bethel, are you there? He says that um, you're not being truthful, that uh, he saw only three armed policemen at the party secured this morning. Um, so where did the gunshots and the tear gas you're claiming were fired at you come from? Kofi, can I say something? I you, take a great exception for somebody calling me lying. 
all over Potako today, journalists were there, Nigerians were there, the videos are everywhere. We have hundreds of policemen, various, various units of Nigeria police were mobilized to the party secretaries who, without any kind of provocation from the party, peaceful party, uh, uh, lawyer party members who came to just express their dissatisfaction with what uh, the committee sent from Abuja were trying to do. Not, not any provocation of any kind. I was, I was, I was a leading leader in this, in what happened today. And I was at the front, forefront of everything that happened. No one person from among the protesters that caused anything that warranted the level of violence that were meted on us. Guns were used, like bullets. It was like, it was like we are in, a, in, a, in Iraq. <laughs> the way that one was shaking. If you check most of the, most of the Pakistan residents in different platforms, we are sharing the information on their platform. It was a public something. Chargers were used, people were injured, people were in the hospital. I can upload videos and pictures of people who sustain various degrees of injury. Please and upload this, this, the pictures. Let us see. And, and this person did not cause any, any, anything to warrant that. As I'm saying, I stand by what I said earlier. But the committee, right? the operation, we, we have the people on ground around uh, the national party uh, to inaugurate the committee. That's from the operation. I told you that I met you earlier, uh, Victor Gadon. What the way with these people and the materials. Our first effort for us to, to reach out to this community was totally not forthcoming. Now, we, they, we were told that they were arrived in uh, Patako today. But from our intelligence, we got that they were actually in Patako yesterday. Now, they said we are going to meet today by 9 for take that meeting. I ran the party secretary almost the Nagum. And as I'm talking to you, as of that time I arrived, the gate was shot against us. Policemen were everywhere. They didn't allow us to even go close to the gate. They had to turn back. So, and people were not anywhere around the secretary. So, to 11, they were not there. I'm saying this is all honesty. It cannot man who is calling me a liar not to, 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 to hold his face and say the, 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 uh, the training committee from Abuja were in the public secretary after 11. They were in there. We are there and we are asking for them to come and address us and give us our form and let us see the capability of what they want to do. Okay, okay. Then we have to be found. We are just away with bullets and tigers. Now, after all the destruction they did on us this evening, with the head of police and other security personnel, they brought them and said they had a stakeholder meeting. Please, I know how democracy is done. Are, are we doing democracy like we are stealing something? It's supposed to be a public something that all the processes will be followed by all those who are involved. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Darlington, would you, uh, you, you're the deputy spokesman for the party in the state. Did, did the stakeholders meeting uh, hold today? It has access to the form. We don't have. We are party loyalists. We yeah, are uh, yeah. Bethel, are please, Bethel, Bethel, please hold, hold. The whole, yeah, Bethel, board. please hold on. Yeah, Be Bethel, in can, can you please give me a second so, so we can have Darlington respond to what you've said. Darlington, did that stakeholders meeting with the screening committee hold today? Hello, come again. Okay, it seems we've lost uh, a Darlington. Darlington, can you hear me, please? Yes, yeah, because I can hear you now. Yes, did that stakeholders meeting hold today? Please, come again, come again. Did the stakeholders meeting with the screening committee that was meant to hold today, as announced, did I it hold? I, I copy a, a, a couple of uh, minutes ago, I challenged you to ask your producer to get in touch with your colleagues in Portacos and confirm and I did affirm that indeed the stakeholders meeting held today, the screening exercise for health of assembly as grants also held today. But but so you, 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 you had you had Bethel, Be uh, Darlington, please. I inform you, Kofi. Yes, okay. That the persons who are alleging that they are looking for forms and they are looking for screening committee actually procured their forms from Abuja. They did not pay for those forms in Portacos. That's in the APC party office here in Portacos. So 
There is no way you can put something on nothing. If you recall my last interview with uh, Tony Ogocha, I made some fundamental, uh, I put forth some fundamental issues which he was unable to adequately defeat. He could not. So, so darling, are you are you saying are you saying and that I all darling, please hold I the am thought. Saying again, yes, that. The persons who are claiming that they are looking for cleaning committee actually bought their farm from Abuja. Darlington, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Bethel, yeah. are you aware yeah. that, that, that uh, um, those who were protesting with you, uh, the assembly aspirants bought their forms from Abuja and not the APC uh, party office in, in Port Harcourt, the likes of Noble, George Ford and co? It's available. Banks, uh, banks detail. Uh, 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 Darlington, please hold on. Be Bethel. Where, where did your colleagues, your party, fellow party men who were protesting with you today, who were locked out, as you said, where did they purchase their forms from? Our forms and other materials to so this committee that was nominated uh, yesterday. Now, this committee has given, has given those things to those who are loyal to the minister. Remember, I told you that uh, the vice chairman, South Victor Gardon, is actually the one the minister did in the end of this matter. Because the, the committee sent to Riverton has already been compromised. So instead of being dependent, they are not answering the books, what the minister and the nation wants them to do in River State. So the books and other materials given to them that they are supposed to also make it available to us have been denied us. This is the fact. And he knows. The man who is calling about that person knows that he is lying from his from his heart to heart. He's the one that is the actual liar in this, in this scenario. Well, I'm saying that, and I stand by it, that after the innovation, they went away with these persons. We couldn't find them. The identity of them were unknown to us. So how do you, how, how do you, have, how do you have fairness? How do you have justice in that kind of matter? When a, an umpire has already taken side with one of the parties. So okay. uh, 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 as I'm saying to Yeah, but Bethel, are you, say, are you saying that you were denied no, access to purchase the forms. You were saying that the stakeholder meeting is held. What time? Was well, it the uh, uh, time of 9 a.m.? They said 9 a.m. stakeholder meeting will, 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 will come. Even though we do not get the, the information, we got it through uh, a secondary meeting. Now, I, I told you I was there at 11, and these persons were not anywhere to be found. The only person who came around that place and started the police to start action was Asita. When Asita came there, I was there to, 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 to level. These people were not anywhere to be found. The only people who saw their group, I can tell the regular policemen, this one unit of Nigeria police. How can somebody who saw hundreds of police say, this one only three policemen? It is a lot from the people of here, man. All right. Uh, 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 we, we should be careful what we say to the public. Bethel, Bethel, can Every you hear me, please? President, especially within that GRA office, saw the, 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 what happened, that what they have today. They saw this, they, they heard the sound of guns. The head, the, the, okay, Bethel, we, we have the, to we have the, to move the, on. Yeah, if you can hear me, all right, uh, Bethel, you seem to be saying that the opportunity to purchase the forms was denied these aggrieved aspirants. If that's what you're saying, I'll come back to Darlington. Darlington, what do you say to these? He's saying that they wanted to get the forms and they were refused these forms. He's also saying they came out to attend this stakeholders meeting and they were barred from entering into the premises. What do you say to this, Darlington? Kofi, Kofi, let me, let me, let me, let me repeat myself. Let, can I repeat myself for the avoidance of that? Now, I told you that I was dropped off to the office by my wife and I got there before 9 a.m. And then when I got there, we only had the complement of three policemen that are regular, that are posted. Dar Darlington, you, you're moving far from what, we, what I asked. Hello, Darlington. Yeah, Darlington, please, to please, to please. Okay, for the past you, two weeks, any time you pass in that place, you are a full bank of police. Because it was at least full bank of police. It cannot be only three personnel. It was unruly. It was after the other person, the party secretary, that the uh, uh, the policemen there had to send and ask for uh, a reinforcement. 
Dal Darlington, what was the form available to every in every aspirant, or was it denied some people? Was the form available to? Now I am also telling you that they actually paid for their form. They actually procured their form from Abuja. They were insisting. Let me tell you, since he's refusing to say the whole truth, maybe if he does not know, let him know now that his principles. We are insisting that since they bought their form from Abuja, that they should be screened there at Abuja instead of in River State. And true. the committee insisted that that was wrong because you are targeted that, to come and rule over people in Portagos. Your constituents that, are here in Portagos. We must come down to Portagos for the screening. And that was why they quickly got stopped to barricade and invade the uh, party premises. That, like that I told you before. All right, all right. Darlington, uh, let's allow Bethel quickly respond to what you've said. Darlington, let's quickly allow Bethel to respond to what you've said. Bethel, please go on. You were about to you were about to respond, Bethel. Bethel? Yeah, Bethel, your response, please, very quickly. Uh, what I'm seeing, there is no form, there is no form that people who are living in tobacco or another one. Is just, if you check, I have the for publication for buying of form for the national. They make it very explicit that bank details pay your money. So when you pay, the party will make available these funds to you. So when you say when they when they say pay to bank, UBA or Zenex, and they give you the bank and the distance, how does that relate to you buy in Abuja or you buy in Tapakos? That is totally not true. Funds we are asked, we are we are asked to pay our money to the integrated uh, banks, you understand, in Nigeria. So anywhere you can go into the bank and take the money, then the party will make available these funds to you. Now, the party makes available this form to this committee. And I told you that this committee we are a jack. This committee we are a jack. And it, today, this, uh, this, today is not the first. This is started from 2018, when the minister has jacked all the process and keep on doing the same. And we are, it has not produced any positive results. We were talking about Senator Magnus. Senator Magnus has been a democrat, a peace-loving Nigeria. Now, between the kind of... Uh, uh, our former national chairman, John Odigo uh, uh, and to that of Adams, and to, this, to the last theatrical committee of whom, there are more than 10 committees that we are set to intervene on the issue of River State to bring some level of oneness. The minister, all effort to bring peace, we are all sympathized by the minister's action. So it's not all about Abe or not Abe. If you check the minister's side, you can see that even today, even uh, one of its uh, one of the governors transparent is also crying out for this irregularity and injustice. It is not a matter of uh, Abe. It is a matter that the minister has vowed that he will not allow transparency, justice, and fairness to play out in this APC. And over time, the minister has always taken the structure of the party, and it has not produced any results. I said it earlier. The minister was a sitting governor, two-time governor of River State. And we did the election 2015. He lost. We did the run. He lost. The only senatorial district that we won election was even started by Senator Abe. We won the Senate, we won the, 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 the three house of reps, and we won the assembly. We turned 2019. The minister was the super minister and did your presidential campaign. His local government has zero for President uh, uh, Buhari. So we, 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 we don't have anything to be afraid of. How can we be afraid of screening? These people have their, their, their qualifications. They have their meetings. So how can they be afraid of saying, uh, don't screen not in Pataka or screen not in Abuja? What was that supposed to mean? The screening is not... Uh, yeah, but Bethel, thank you. Let's also, just take a final word through, from Darlington uh, uh, before we go. Bring your certificate emergency and... I can't be afraid of doing it in Pataka and say, bring us to Abuja. All right, we, I'm, I'm afraid that's the last we can, we can take from you, the Bethel. The from operation Grand has demonstrated high degree of compromise with the minister by their conduct. And there is no any evidence of justice and fairness what they've done. You gave us time, nine o'clock, that you'll be there for a victim. People can even and say the almost eleven, you are not there, T twelve, you are not there. And people are waiting for to you are not there to be found. 
Let's in the moment. Uh, All right, we, we, we have to go. Gentlemen, we have to go. I, I apologize for the audio and issues. This man is uh, Bethel, happy. if you can hear me, uh, we have to call it a day. To Hello, to Bethel, are you there, please? What his own party members went through. Thank you very much, Bethel and Tay. Uh, he is uh, an APC delegate hopeful. He was part of the protest right there at the APC sectorate in River State, uh, where gunshots and tear gas were said to have been fired. Of course, you've seen the clips and video uh, and report on Plus TV. It happened this morning. Uh, we've also had the deputy spokesperson for the All Progressives Congress in River State, Darlington Wuju, who will also give the party position, official position. We will be monitoring uh, the unfolding events in River State, not just from the All Progressives Congress, but also from the People's Democratic Party, uh, the PDP in River State, and indeed around the country ahead of the 2023 general elections. Of course, Anik has said they are not shifting or changing the dates uh, for the primaries and the conclusion of the party primaries. We sincerely apologize uh, for the audio and network issues we've had today. We promise you it's going to get better. Well, that, thank you for staying with us and that's it on Plus Politics for tonight. My name is Kofi Bartels. We return tomorrow with more on politics in Nigeria. Good night. <laughs>